arrive. Airmen attending professional military education observed the court martial of an airman accused of sexual assault at Kunsan Air Base. On 27 July 2013, did anything out of the ordinary happen? I was raped. The airman allegedly had sex with his coworker while she was passed out under the influence of alcohol. I mean, somebody that they trusted, somebody that they've always been around, and it's always the same thing I always hear is, it's, uh, I never thought they would do that kind of thing. Did this affect your daily life? The FTAC airmen, who've just arrived at their first permanent duty assignment, had a chance to witness the severe consequences of sexual assault. You know, it's one thing to hear it in briefings over and over again, to see the skits, to see the, uh, to see the PowerPoint presentations. It's a completely different thing to see uh, what a trial is actually like. Fortunately, today's trial was just for show, and the accused was an innocent actor. Most of you know this wasn't actually real. We tried to make it feel real and seem real to you guys for a good teaching point to show you how serious this can all be. Afterwards, the audience members had a chance to talk to the attorneys and to clarify misconceptions about sexual assault in the Air Force. If someone is under the influence of a substance, that they should not and cannot be able to consent to something like sex. The sexual assault response coordinator spoke to the airmen on how to get help if they're assaulted and about restricted reporting rights. The goal is to make airmen think before they act. A small bad decision could quickly spiral out of control and blow up to really ruin the rest of your life. Technical Sergeant Sean Rose, Kunsan Air Base, Republic of Korea.